So my name is Ina Santiago, I'm a certified radiologist since 2012. Uh, during my residency I could learn from uh, skillful people in various areas of knowledge. Uh, I also was surrounded by wonderful colleagues, I was very lucky, very motivated and uh, I also had a chance to do some rotations abroad to do my differentiation in abdominal and pelvic MRI. And one of those rotations was actually key for my career because this was in the MR imaging unit of the Erasmus Hospital in Brussels. That was led by Celso Matos at the time. And uh, he's a very intelligent and very inspiring man, also a very generous one. And he uh, broadened my horizons for research in radiology and we worked together, we became friends. And by the time I was finishing my residency, he became a consultant for radiology here at the Shambolim Foundation. And I was invited to join the clinic at the time. And uh, this makes me feel a little bit old because uh, the clinic was just being born. So I was uh, witnessing the structuring of the first multidisciplinary teams for cancer management. I was in the first uh, multidisciplinary team meeting. By the end of 2015, in October 2015, Celso Matos came to uh, Champollion uh, Foundation full time to lead the radiology department and also to co lead Champollion research. And uh, at this point, this was a completely different scenario where the first floor was already occupied by some cancer research labs and uh, a preclinical MRI research facility had been built. This was implemented and uh, led by Noam Shemesh, an Israeli chemist, a brilliant mind that did uh, his PhD uh, in the resolution of microarchitecture using very high field uh, magnetic resonance. And so I was invited to join the, the foundation. Um, I also joined a PhD program in another medical school in a whole different perspective where I could continue to practice uh, as a radiologist in the digestive unit. And I could simultaneously uh, develop my PhD thesis in a fundamental research lab. So the idea would be for me to uh, be in the fundamental research world and try to bring into the clinical practice the novelties that are being developed uh, in the fundamental research uh, world. So I believe there are not many uh, facilities where the two worlds can come so close together. So um, I think this is uh, one of the most appealing features here at the Foundation for someone who's interested in research such as myself. As a radiologist, we are trained to interpret images. We are not really trained to understand the, the physics behind uh, what we can obtain from the images. And um, the idea for me is to try to bring into the, in my case, rectal cancer uh, patient management something new that might actually contribute to a better uh, uh, patient uh, management and uh, better outcomes. The fundamental research world and the clinical world are two completely different worlds. So people do not think alike, do not work alike, and um, most of the times I don't think they communicate that much. So the fundamental research, the, the pure curiosity, the, the, the search for the truth in nature might actually be the, what pushes uh, people forward. Uh, while in the clinic we are much more practically oriented, so we want to get something that will work for the patients and will improve their lives and their outcomes when they are ill. And I think that uh, shortening the bridge between these two worlds is beneficial for both and for, for everybody uh, if we understand better how these tools are created, how are developed, and how the people that develop them think. I think that we can come up with um, a lot more of ideas and understand that also our limitations much better. I am very lucky I believe, to be able to cross these two worlds and I just uh, hope to be up for the challenges because I feel like a tiny fly on top of a football uh, when I'm surrounded with uh, these wonderful people in, in the lab. And I, I just hope I can uh, contribute to something better, something that will improve actually the cancer people's lives.